We are going to be based out of the Mbizi camp situated on the banks of the Mwenezi River. The beginning of July is normally a great time of the year to hunt leopard and we have got a lot of leopards in this area. But that being said, the wind this time of the year can be a bit iffy. Mornings and evenings are spent around the campfire where stories of the day past or of the day to come are shared. Mbizi camp offers two types of accommodation, an A-frame and the classic safari tent. Both have ensuite and both are situated on the banks of the river, offering great views. Seldom do I get the opportunity to film an entire family on their safari and to be a small part of their great African adventure. Being a father myself, I know how precious it is to spend time with your kids and teach them the ways of the bush and Keith was going to have a great time teaching the boys. Prior to Keith's arrival at Nunetsi for a safari, he had been to South Africa on a lion hunt and he had shot a fantastic lion there, as well as a big warthog. Well, we're just here at the airstrip waiting for Keith Holly and his family to arrive. They should be here in the next sort of five minutes. So hopefully they've got their guns and all of that. Once you've unloaded the plane, put them in the car, we'll go back to camp, we'll float them there, and go to the rifle range. Steve, Marcus, how are you? Good and yourself? Good. Why'd you move? How am I going to run you over? Oh, Mark. How are you doing, Keith? Good to see you. And yourself, huh? Yeah, very good. How's the flight? It's fine. Good? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Hello, Colin. Hi, nice to meet you. And this is the first officer, Kenny. Ah, uh -huh. how's the flight? Good. Hi, Douglas. Hi, Douglas. Hi. Keith. I'm Tinos. Tinos? Nice to meet you. A couple of blankets around the back, I presume they're yours, eh? What's your bag? I didn't climb up that far. Right, yeah. Got a big crater. Right. May as well. I don't know where you want to sit. You can either sit up front or Sit on the back bench with the family. Sit on the back bench. Okay. How far is it? 20 minutes or so. Adventure already, just driving here. We've seen more animals. I know, it's really cool. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, it's really fun. Hey. 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 Hey.
Hi, I'm Hi. Sandy. Sandy Helen. Nice to meet you, Hila. Hello, Keith. Sandy, nice to meet you. Hi, boys. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Malada, hi. Did you have a nice lunch? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 the house pit. So pretty excited to be here. Um, been planning this for two years so first time in Zimbabwe and whole family's here with me and so it's pretty exciting. Um, looking for uh, leopard and buffalo mainly and that's the main goal uh, for me but also want to have my boys a chance to do a little shooting as well, maybe pick up an Impala and some planes games along the way. So we're pretty we're pretty excited. Well, it's our first morning here in Nunetsi. We uh, arrived yesterday afternoon and got some rest last night, so we're up early plan today is to start uh, getting baits up for leopards so we're gonna start with some impala I believe and try to get as many baits up as quick as we can and uh, get the leopard rolling so we're pretty excited this morning It's been a great start to the morning. We've got two impala down. The sun's just popping up over the trees now, so it's going to start warming up. It's been quite frosty, but we've got two impala for two baits. We're going to carry on down the road and hope we pick up some more. actually start producing its own So we're going to hide. I don't know. You might put you up in that tree there. Put me? Hmm. Why? So you can watch for the leopard. Oh yeah, yes. We'll come see it. We'll, we'll come check on you every two days, bring you water and a snack. <laughs> if you really get hungry, you could just gnaw on some and pile out there. Fight the leopard for a bite of the You have to gut your own and fall of it.
forget it wasn't our plan to go following buffalo, but it's been a very slow morning, so we were actually looking for zebra out here. We saw some buffalo. There's, well, I saw a couple of bulls up this side, but there's all herd down there, so they've sort of run off that way. We're just gonna break the monotony and go see if we can find anything decent. Sounds down there. good. Might as well have a little walk and see what happens. Yep. Beat sitting in the car today, you know. Do it. This group of zebra there. We're just going to try to get us a quick stand. Looked like a good shot. Yeah, felt good. It looked like he was holding his leg up as he ran around there, so we're just gonna go and try and find him. Well, Keith, as you've seen, hunting's a strange thing. We came out here looking for zebra, and we actually bumped into a big herd of buffalo, which we decided we'd go after. And while tracking those, we then bumped into zebra. So that's the way it goes. <laughs> it yeah. does. So, um, original goal uh, came back to that. Yeah, we needed leopard bait. It provides a very nice rug and trophy, but we've got four more leopard boats to go and hang up. So yeah, is it? Very nice animal. Thank you very much. Good shooting. Appreciate it. When filming on safari, one of the hardest times to film is that first light or that very last light. Driving home from baiting the one day, a couple of really nice Nyala bulls jumped across the road. I'm busy scrambling to set my camera up to try and capture as much low light as possible. By the time we had got out the car and started the stalk, the only way I could film it was in infrared.
Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful animal. That's incredible. Well, Keith, uh, we had practically finished the day and actually making our way back to camp. And as we got to a little turn off there, there's two Nyala bulls standing just off the road in front of us. So we stopped and looked at them and both of them were young and I was about to drive off when this big old guy ran across to the left of us and it didn't take a brain surgeon to work out that he was a definite shooter. So we jumped out. It was very thick in here so we had to be a little bit patient and try to find a little gap and you managed to thread that bullet perfectly and you got yourself here a great old Nyala bull, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, like you said, uh, almost out of shooting light. I thought we were done for the day. This was a fantastic opportunity and worked out very well. This is uh, certainly a trophy to be proud of. What a beautiful animal. Thank you. Very unusual to shoot them so late in the day, but it worked well. So. We'll take it when we can <laughs> get it, right? Exactly. Good game. Well done. All right, thanks. Day five, and uh, we're making the rounds, checking baits. Uh, this is our second stop this morning. When we came up, there's uh, obvious activity with a lot of tracks around, and there's pieces of meat that are not even dried yet that are on the ground underneath the bait. Mark thinks that there's probably uh, leopard feeding uh, right when we drove up and, and may have run off been here just very recently so that's pretty encouraging but the camera shows what looks like a female maybe a female and a cub that have been coming in so we probably need to shoot another zebra today and refresh a couple of these baits but it's pretty neat because we've got a lot of activity on uh, several several baits well we've checked most of our baits this morning we've got three males feeding one, the camera, the vultures knocked the battery out the tree so they didn't take any pictures. And we've got another nice cat feeding for Bolt of Blind, but I was hoping this cat would return and he has. Um, we got some nice pictures of him last night. And he seems to be the better of the three cats. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna build another blind here and we'll probably come sit here tonight. seeing come in the last three nights, took one of the zebra quarters down and dragged it away. Camera showed that uh, he went off with it a little after 4 a.m. So Mark and the trackers have been off looking for it. The hope is we either find where he stashed the bait and can set up there tonight or confirmation that maybe the hyenas finished it off and that would determine what we're gonna do later tonight. So in the meantime, we've been in a little bit of a waiting game here at the moment. And uh, that's part of leopard hunting. But fortunately, I, my kids have been keeping our cameraman entertained with their antics, and uh, it's a nice day, so we're enjoying some sunshine. At this point, I'm just trying to stay positive and keep my head in the game and be ready when the chance comes. One of the biggest challenges that you'll face on a leopard hunt is having to constantly replace your bait. I think on this safari we had between 22 and 25 leopards feeding at any time, that including females and cubs. So you can just imagine how much bait that we actually went through. 
One of the other things that people don't realize is the amount of driving and traveling that you do. On an average day, we can do anything up to 220 to 250 kilometers, meaning that you don't have time to go tracking bait. It has to be more of a spot and stalk setup. Good tracking from the trackers, we managed to stay on the tracks and we got the zebra stallion. We're just going to skin him out here while the vehicle goes to check those other baits. So by the time he comes back to pick us up, we've hopefully finished skinning him and can load him straight into the car. Um, we'll see what report he's got. Uh, we've got to definitely go back to that other bait to replenish that one. So Yeah, we've got a lot of leopards feeding. He's going to provide another nice rug and we've got another four good baits out of him so hopefully yeah. that will keep the cats feeding. Great, that sounds good. Yeah, amazing job by your trackers. Took us a little while to catch up to them but uh, successful in the end. Thank yep. you very much. All right. well, thanks. Fair chase hunting for any animal has never or will ever come with a guarantee for success. The only guarantee that client and PH can provide is a concentrated effort to tip the odds in their favour through hard work and honest effort. This is day nine. Uh, we're 
checking baits again. Last night we sat and uh, we had a female leopard come in. No male uh, while we were there, but uh, the neat thing was that the, uh, the female came in about 15, 20 minutes after we'd been there. It was still daylight, so we got some great footage. We got to watch her feeding for, she stayed at the bait 15 or 20 minutes, so that was a pretty neat to see that. And then um, this morning we're seeing a little bit of uh, activity here at another bait. Um, we're doing a little adjusting of the camera and, uh, and we'll continue on. But I think that uh, where we were last night still holds a chance that that male will come back in and we may be uh, going back there again. So the game continues. Spotted a nice kudu bull, so we're good now. We're gonna have to go over here and take a take a look and try to get on him. Well, Keith could have been eluding us for the last eight days. Um, we finally managed to catch up to this big old brute. We just took it slowly and we found him crossing the far end of a clearing. Managed to get him stop, to stop right at the edge of the clearing there and you made a fantastic shot, threaded it between some trees and you didn't go far and you got yourself a great old kudu bull, sir. Thank you very much. Did yeah, you know? that was... Very exciting stalk and, and a, what a fabulous trophy and couldn't be more excited. This is, this is uh, one that I will always remember. Over the last several days, Keith had dialed in a shooting eye and taken some great planes game. Now our focus switched to one of Nunezzi's great prizes, the Cape Buffalo. Tracking this great animal is one of my favorite pastimes.
have some playfulness about it. Yeah, good or passive and do Brent says I'm doing a perfect job. He says there's never been better. So we got a call from Game Scouts down here at the south end of the ranch that there was three Douglas boys. So we found some tracks and followed them, but uh, they winded us and took off. So we're just having a little break now. We're going to have some lunch, then we're going to get back on them this afternoon. Alright, we just finished lunch, so we're going to head back into the bush and try to find the buffalo. Um, so we're going to get geared up and uh, head back in. Hopefully this will be the time. Thank you, Ducky. Thank you for calling me closer so we didn't have to walk so far. <laughs> what then? He's done. He's down. What about it, Ducky? Good eyesight. Yeah, we were just kind of ambling in, ready for the long hawk hike back in to find tracks, and we look up, and there's black right in front of us. Give him a second, then we'll go take a look. See what he looks like. His buddy's he's trying to get him up. No, nah, he's just standing there. He was just kicking on the floor. Yeah, he was just down kicking over there. Yeah, see, that's his buddy's just standing there. Standing guard just there, so we're just gonna hopefully let him. Run off before we go in there. The two original bulls have to go for us. That way? We're gonna drive in. Oh, we're is driving that in. a buffalo? Scoot over. Yep. Wow. Scoot, 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 scoot. Go see. Woohoo! Buffalo hunting in Africa is probably the most common of your dangerous game hunts. This is a very exciting hunt, and we spent a couple of days looking at buffalo played with a few herds, tracked a couple of dugger boys. Today the wind was not with us and we got skunked a couple of times. We caught it off for lunch, had a little break there and on our way back in Lady Luck smiled on us and we stumbled into two dugger boys. This was the best of the two, we had no time. Keith made a fantastic shot and he ran 20 yards and he's got himself a great old dugger boy. Good shooting, sir. Well Thank done. you very much. Thank you very much, Mark. That was really tremendous. Yeah, we, we weren't expecting to find them quite so quick after lunch, but we came up on them and were able to, to make it happen. So, fantastic experience. Means even more that Kenny and Brady were here with me, and uh, it's one I'll definitely remember for a long time. This is day 15, it's our last morning. Uh, I can't believe we're almost finished and we come to the end, but uh, still have one more day of hunting. 
Um, we got uh, skunked by the leopards again last night, so we're gonna leave off of them and chalk this one up as a win for the leopards. Um, but we're gonna go after some further plains game today uh, in Elan this morning, hopefully a water buck this afternoon. Oh, Keith, this is our last afternoon of our hunt together. We've had a great time. We've um, had it 15 days hard. Unfortunately, the leopards outsmarted us. We had lots of them on bait, but we just couldn't get one of the big males to come in and cooperate when we were in the blind. We managed to collect lots of fantastic other animals during our time together. But one animal that saluted us so far was a big water buck. And that was our goal for this afternoon. We came out and we'd seen lots of water buck previously, but they'd all been herd bulls and our goal was to find a lone old bull. And we managed to do that this afternoon and you've got a fantastic water buck here. So well done. Great Thank you shooting. very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'd like to say that uh, it has been a fantastic safari and despite the leopard deluding us, it was an experience of a lifetime. I mean, I've got a fantastic buffalo and uh, lots of very nice Plains Games trophies and lots of memories and uh, this is a wonderful uh, trophy as well to top it off so thank you to uh, your whole crew and yourself for tremendous effort and uh, we'll definitely look forward to coming back and doing it again sometime. Look forward to it. Hopefully we'll get a leopard next time. I'm sure we will.